Hello everybody to lesson 37 of HTML Deep Understanding course. In this lesson, we will know the difference between HTML4 and HTML5 and what are the new elements in HTML5. First of all, we know that the main difference between HTML4 and HTML5 are the doc type, which is in the first, and also the char set, which is defined per easy. So we have here the first of HTML5 is the doc type, and the second is that one, which is char set. To make it easy and wonderful also there is many difference for example new elements in HTML5 are like the header the footer the article uh, I mean the article the section also we have some attributes like the date the number the week the time that reduce a lot of work that we should do also in the graphic type uh, graphic side we have the SFG and canvas which we will learn them later it has I mean <coughs> sorry it has uh, I mean reduced a lot of work so only you need it is short working or short codes that will help you do a lot of work also in the multimedia and elements we have a audio and video and we all know them all and what to do with them also it's normal five has an IBI's IB, IBI which means IB application programming interface means application programming interface IBI uh, this ABI has for example geolocation which is talks about the location drag and drop local storage application cache web workers and this is a we all know them all near also we have here uh, some elements that are removed I mean uh, removed from the old versions and used here let's see if we have them here which means they, they were in the past but now they are uh, they have been removed for example the first one which is the acronym okay the acronym means some uh, abbreviations so small for uh, a full word or for a sentence it has been deleted okay and we use the ABBR the other one is applet now we have object also the paste font if you see this you could modify to CSS we have big we could modify the CSS means the large the size and so on the center also deleted the DIR the font uh, which had been deleted also we have uh, the, f the frame the frame set the not frames the track the TT all these things has been or I mean we have found a new solution for that which could be a great deal for that also there's another thing which is the the browser support Okay, so the browser uh, in the HTML4 there was many elements that has been uh, that couldn't support that, but HTML5 found to recover the problems that happens in browser supporting the HTML4 elements. Uh, but still, because we have many browsers uh, created, many programs developed every day, so there is some uh, HTML5 uh, browser that doesn't support the, the some elements. I mean. So here we have some, for example, we could we could define, uh, for example, if we have a problem with a, sp a specific, for example, browser like the IE8, for example, Inter Internet Explorer 8, we could define it with, HT with CSS, which we will learn in, in other videos. So we could define that elements in CSS and we have a, another solution so that we couldn't uh, waste our time on building a website that doesn't work in some browsers we will uh, define uh, I mean for extra insurance so that we could make sure that that type is work in all browsers even if the IE8 okay I mean Internet Explorer 8 here we have new elements in HTML5 like the article we have here a table I mean yes like here we have the article for example here we have the article which defines the article in the document, the aside, the BDI, the details, dialogue, fiction, all these things, the navigation, it was previously, you define only a class, but now you only use a tag, also the progress, so all these things has been the time, so all these things uh, has been de developed or uh, added to HTML5 to reduce the work that we spent in the previous days, uh, in HTML4 okay we have new input types for example uh, we have 
developed also the types in both forms. For example, previously there was no color in both, no date, no the time. But now we have the color, the date, the time, the time, the time locale, email, month, number. All these things has been created for HTML5, which reduced a lot of work. We have talked about all of them. You could uh, review the previous courses, the previous lessons. I'm sorry, and see what we have learned about that. Also, we have new attributes syntax. For example, we have uh, some syntax that we have created, and could be, uh, I mean, could be, uh, could be dealed. Uh, for example, here we have uh, the empty. For example, when we write disabled, okay. So we write disabled, but I'm searching for table. Where's the table? I, th I thought that we have table here. No, so I mean there are some elements that doesn't need to be uh, strict like the XHTML, so it's easy. Write it with quotation or not quotation, you are free, so it will not show errors. This make it easier for the uh, programmer. Also, we have the graphics uh, as we uh, as we have uh, know, and we we have the media like the audio, also embed and source, track video. This could help your work and could help you uh, achieve a lot in a short time. So it, it's a great. This was enough for this lesson. I think it, it, it would be some boring because it's there's no practicing code, but uh, you should know these elements. Uh, it's enough for this lesson and see you in the next. Bye.